Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I've got a really fun final review for you all today. I'm going to do a final review on all of the folios that are in the National Scrapbook Day Workshop. It's a total of five. So this is going to be a pretty long video. So sit back and relax and make sure you watch through the end. And uh, let's get into the very first one. So the paper collection used on this one is a 49 in Market Crafty Garden. It is a gorgeous paper collection, my goodness. And the embellishments are so, so beautiful. You cannot go wrong with this collection. It's lovely. I did put a, a piece from the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom collection. That's just here. That's all I use. But everything else is the 49 in Market Crafty Garden. So this is what the layout looks like. Let's take a quick peek at the inspiration layout. Here's what it looks like. It's real. It's a fabulous layout, very generous layout with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten photos straight off the bat right in the front. So when you work on a 12 by 12 layout, what you see is what you get, okay? So all of those photos, super generous in a, a scrapbook layout. Because this is moving parts, we get more opportunities for photos. And what do I mean by moving parts? This does not go into a sleeve. All of the parts move. It's housed in this fabulous folio style right here. And it's very interactive, very interactive. So we've got various photos here mimicking the uh, inspiration layout. And then I went ahead and did so much so many moving parts here. So many guys, so many. Look at that. Look at that absolutely fabulous interaction that you get in this one moving parts layout. Look at that. I take you step by step by step through the construction process, through the matting process, uh, these have really great matting techniques here, like matting off the page and all sorts of other things. I take you through the process in the project folder. When I say project folder, that means your box.com account. Again, I can't speak enough about this 49 and Market collection. It is stunning. I love the colors. I love everything about it. So these projects are perfect for mini stories. What are mini stories? If you're like me and you don't take a lot of photos, this is the project for you because you can tell your story in this format and not have to worry about filling up an album, okay? There's room here for eight by tens and below. Look at this pocket, super duper generous size for photos. Uh, then we have this space here for five by sevens. You can do two four by sixes if you want to here. Uh, this opens up right here for more photo opportunities. Lots of interaction in these little tuck spaces here. Fun little collages. I mean, it's just really, really darling, guys. Look at this matting here. How stunning. Look at this space for an 8x10 if you wanted to do it here. 5x7, a few 4x6s. Then look at this spot here. I mean, really, guys. Look at this. 8 by 10, 4 by 6s, 5 by 7s, whatever. 2 by 3s. Gorgeous area for a photo here. Look at the collaging here. Just beautiful details. The embellishments in this collection are so well done. I love the sizes. I love everything. And in the project folder, I tell you which embellishments I use, uh, which ones I didn't use, because usually when I purchase stuff for a collection, I buy everything. And uh, I don't wind up using everything. So um, you know exactly what I use. Again, fun matting techniques. I go over all of this with you guys. It just, look at this super sweet little waterfall here. Then whatever you put in this pocket can hold this down. Not that you need it because this closes up, closes up, closes up. It's just so perfect. Let's look at the matting on this side just to showcase that paper. Here's an example of a five by seven in here. There's that fun off the page matting once again. And then photo mats in here. 
So um, I want to talk to you about photo mats very quickly. So there's that pocket again, and there's that five by seven. So when you are gifting a project like this, you want to be sure that there's room for photos, right? This one has quite a bit of room. You can see it's squishy. So that means there's more room. All right, there's no alligator mouth. It's actually on a down slope, so that means there's room in there for photos. Now, I will say, when I show you the white, the white represents the photo, the finished product here. If you're giving this as a gift, I would set up this first page as you see it with the whites, but everything else would just be a black photo mat. And what do you do with a black photo mat? You hopefully have white ink in your arsenal, a place photo stamp, and boop, you do that. And it is just as lovely as the white because you have that stamp there. It's important to have the stamp there. It's just, if it's just a white piece, a black piece of paper, not so much. But the white stamp absolutely uh, creates super, uh, creates interest. And it gives you a call to action, right? Place photo here. So this is what I would do with the rest of it. Any photo mats that you put inside the pockets would be black with no white, all right? I do the white because I'm showing you a finished product and I want you to see, get an idea of where the photos go, how you would treat photo mats, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's why I do the white. You can also do a repositionable adhesive, put the white everywhere, and then it will be replace photo. Even if you have a stamp that says place photo here, you would put a note. You could do a little post-it note. Hand write, remove white, replace with photo. And that's it. Easy peasy, guys. All right? So you have your choice. Uh, the repositionable adhesive that I recommend is a good old trusty repositionable glue stick. They usually come, I think, in the purple, in the purple color. And then when it dries, it dries clear. Uh, initially, you think that it's not sticking down because it doesn't stick down initially. It usually becomes repositionable when it dries. So you'll be able to peel it off. So just give it some time to dry and you'll see that it sticks on. You can peel it off, put it back on. All right, so think about the glue stick. All right, and this goes true for all of the other folios. So this is style three, National Scrapbook Day Workshop. You get styles three through seven. If you're wondering where style one and two is, those are separate purchases and you can find those in my shop on their moving parts foot page folio style one moving parts page folios style two and I will also link you in the description box below. Now let's take a look at style number four. Super fun. Another fun one. So this one when we did it was geared more towards like Mother's Day, right? Then this one, a happy birthday for a boy. This is actually a gift and I love, love giving things like this as gifts. Look at how fast I was able to put this together Again, I take you through the process step by step. Paper collection, Echo Park, uh, boy birthday. Yeah, birthday boy, sorry. Echo Park birthday boy. Uh, here, large pocket. This is intended for cards. Then you open it up and look at this amazingness. Let's take a look at the inspiration layout. So style four inspiration layout is right here. Uh, you can really see the layout in my in my finished project. Uh, it's fantastic, guys. So I take I took all of the layers that you see here that are stagnant, that are still in place, right? And I made them come to life. Let's take a look at that. There's those three photos. See the three the layers one two three here. Take a look at this. This comes down to reveal more space for photos photo here now i would only do the photo down here because you don't want heads just kind of floating up here right so be careful with that or you can leave that with a little birthday message pull this down place photo here photo here but be careful again because you want the decorative paper so the option is photo here photo photo this lifts up to reveal a pocket with look at all of these photo mats including the five by seven now again you're giving this as a gift i would do the plain black with the 
place photo here. Let's take a look very quickly to see how this looks. Of course, we're gonna love the white paper, but listen, sometimes you can't do that. You can't. So the white paper would be the setup in the very front and then the plain black photo mats. Okay, that's it. Very, very simple. And I have to say, this does not look bad at all. Notice how I'm doing the place photo higher so you can see it in the pocket. It just creates more interest, okay? So take a look at that. So now you know that you will have room for the photos. All right, so now this opens up once again to reveal, Oop, let's close this because this ink dries really, really quickly. So you don't get you you don't get this interaction with a regular 12 by 12 layout, right? It goes into a plastic sleeve. You enjoy these pictures and that's it. You enjoy this main focal point photo here and that's it, right? But with moving parts, you get all that interaction and look at all of this storage space that you get in the inside once you open it. So a huge acetate pocket where you can fit eight by tens, two super, what is going on here? Two super generous pockets here that open up with one closure, like so. And when I say generous, I mean it guys, generous, okay? Super duper generous pockets here. This is, this is magnetized and this is the policy closure here. So, because I decorated all the photo mats, guess what's gonna go in here? Blank photo mats, not the ones that are in here, okay? Blank photo mats. Let's take a look at this side. So here, we get interaction with pockets right here. Then this entire thing opens to reveal all of this fabulous goodness here. Four photos. What a fun and interesting way to show off your memories or what a fantastic gift to give someone. Listen, at the end of the day, people do not realize how much time and effort goes into these projects, but the wow factor and the look on their eyes is definitely worth all of the work. And quite frankly, I enjoy doing it. So whether or not they realize how much work goes into it, it doesn't matter to me because I love doing it and it's fun to me. So another fabulous gift idea i just i love it and they're easy to make this is the type of project where if you're making projects to sell this you get a bang for your buck because they're easy to make and very little supplies very little supplies because the the decor here are the photos which is super duper fun if you want to do the color cardstock you can my recommendation would be just in the front. Don't put the color cardstock on the backs. Or just do this pocket card and a strip, 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 strip. Not the full photo mat, right? That saves you on paper and it saves you on space, you know, adding bulk to the project. I would just do pretty paper on this one. This one would just be a black photo mat. So you want to pick and choose, right, where you're going to add the paper. This has two photo mats. I would pick one pretty paper, black photo mat in the back, right? Smaller photo mats down here and so on and so forth. So that's how you want to treat this. And that's not it, babe. Babe, I'm saying babe to you all. That's not it. Check out, again, the storage capabilities of this one moving parts folio. It's just simply simply fantastic i i just love this design uh, i have to tell you it's very hard for me to pick favorites but this design i love and i'll probably say that about all of them but this is a good one guys such a good one and i will not be keeping this one this is going to fate's little friend henry for his seventh birthday which is why i did all of this right here so i love this love love echo park birthday boy. They also have a birthday girl collection if you needed to make this for a girl. All right, so next is style number uh, five. Gorgeous collection. Uh, this one is the Simple Stories. All right, let me see it. Vintage, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. 
another gorgeous collection. Let's take you through to the inspiration layout so you can see the magic. You know what, first, let's go inside real quick. There is the layout. Now let's take a look at the inspiration uh, layout. Here it is. I want you to take a note, the two small photos at the bottom, the pocket with the tags on the left-hand side, and then the setup on the right-hand side, and you'll see everything come to life. Watch. All right, so here's the pocket. Oh, what happened to my tags in here? I take things out when, when I am showing things off and then I forget to put things back. That was not in there. No butterfly on butterfly, but let's do that very quickly. So pocket, right? We saw that. Photos, the two fo smaller photos on the bottom, and then the larger photo over here. So this would be stationary in a sleeve, right? Look, 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 look. All of these photo mats in here, all of them. Look at that. This is your closure gorgeous title here this opens up again to reveal all of this space for photos how gorgeous is this guys if you have not picked up this workshop you still have an opportunity to do so in this video 50 percent off and the sale ends it, the sale actually ends today it's may 13th so at midnight central time the sale ends 50 percent off guys then are you ready Look at this. Look at this. One more time. We've got this pocket here for lots of goodies. And then this opens up again for another pocket for lots of goodies. What's in here? Another tag. And photos. So just so much room, guys. So much room. You can even put a 4 by 6 here if you want it to. You absolutely can. It's just dynamite. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough, these two flaps open again. Are you ready? Take a look. Look! So this is, I give you three or four inside cover pocket options. So this is the same style you saw in style one with the, um, with the waterfall and the large pocket for the eight by 10. All right, same thing on the other side. Look at this beautiful setup here. So this is, except that this one does not have the policy closure. Whatever you put in these pockets are the closure, okay? This is your closure right here, okay? Opportunity for your four by six little journaling card. Again, opens up. You can do an eight by 10 here if you want to, and then loose photos over here. Eight by 10 fits here. It'll come off to this side, but it's you can certainly put an eight by 10 in there. Absolutely, why not? And then that closes. And then this side is little twinsy. Look at how gorgeous. Use the pocket card here as the decor, off center, kind of flowing through. I take you through that matting process in the project folder. Look at this off the page matting here. It's a frame. You've got a little acetate there. Look at how great that is. It is a functional frame. There is my finger. That's where your photo goes. So just really beautiful, guys. There's a pocket up here. Beautiful photo mats. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I hope you love it. Let me know what you think about moving parts. I would love to know what you think about moving parts. I know so many of you love it because you're making these with me. I see uh, your inspiration on the Facebook community page. So thank you so, so very much for posting so that everyone can see what you guys are making as crafters. I love it. So this is another functional uh, frame here. This is also from the Simple Stories collection. All right, so this is style number five. Let's take a look at style number six. So style number six is using, I put this up here because I think, I think I may put it up here, is using the Happiness Personified collection. This is a digital collection. You can pick this up in my shop, paperphenomenon.com. It is also on sale. You know, I forgot to show you the backs of these. Look at this, guys. How beautiful. 
is this. Not to worry if you didn't see the backs of these. You can see these all in your project folders, guys. They're all in there. Again, I take you through the matting process from start to finish. Look at this paper. How glorious. It is so beautiful. Another perfect collection for Mother's Day or a birthday. A birthday. How gorgeous. Look. Oh, my gosh. Just beautiful. So look at these butterflies. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. Hold on. I want to take you to the inspiration layout. Oh my gosh, I can't get in the way I want it. There we go. Inspiration layout right now. So let's take a look at this. Now let's look at the inspiration layout. Look. Hopefully you can see what I see because it's just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's take a look. So here's that room for the five by seven. Here's that smaller photo, then the journaling spot. Added some fun little embellishments here. This is a magnetized piece here. And then here's this area here for the photo, which is a pocket and everything moves. Why? Because this is a moving parts project. All right, so let's start. So this opens up to reveal room for more photos. This is a pocket. This is a pocket. Look at that. This also opens up. This is a pocket pocket. You can fit eight by tens here. These are two smaller pockets, but absolutely four by sixes fit in here, even five by sevens. So this closes up like so and opens up to this, my friends. I love this pocket style. This is for four by sixes, both pockets. You can do smaller photos on the bottom if you like to, but four by six. When I say four by six, that's the photo size. The photo mat is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. I highly recommend you watch uh, the photo mats, tips and tricks, my pro tips, how to create photo mats. I'll link it at the end of this video and in the description box so you can watch that next you want to learn all about photo mats. You can put a large photo here if you want, or you leave it like this to just showcase the beautiful paper. Why? Because there's so much room here for everything. So photos, photos, then this generous pocket here for more photos. I created also this. I don't show you how to do this in the project folder because I I snatched this one out from another project. I robbed Peter to pay Paul and I just threw it in here. If you have my photo mats catalog, this is in there. You can make this photo mat. Look at this beautiful uh, decor here. And I love it because it's a little uh, peekaboo, right? Once you take this out, you get to see this beautiful decor. And just everything works so beautifully. Let's take a look at this side very quickly. So this pulls off, it's a magnet. This opens up to reveal beautiful paper, generous size pocket here, room for more photos, pocket here, room for a photo. Look at that. How fun. So, so much fun and so much room. So again, magnetized right here. I take you through the entire process. Look at this stunning reveal right here. Room for an eight by 10. Gen generous pocket here for an eight by 10, five by sevens and below. And guess what? That same pocket set up right here on the inside cover pocket is what I'm calling this for your larger specimens or photos right here. Uh, there are the four by sixes. This collection comes with really, really nice frames. So I use those in these pockets here. I did some signature cuts here just to give you an idea for matting, not necessarily covering up the pretty, pretty paper, but making it part of your photo design. And it's just so fun, guys. So, so much fun. I hope you love it. This is Moving Parts style number six. And what I said in the first style about photo mats also rings true here. You really want to pick and choose where you put your the white photo mats if you're giving this as a gift. The white photo mat represents the photo. 
you want to replace the photo with the white. All right, that's the best way to do it. And um, again, I highly encourage you all to watch the pro tips, how to create photo mats, because it's a great video. Every crafter should watch it, all right? Next up is style number seven. So the last style in the National Scrapbook Day Workshop. Let's take a quick peek, see right here at the inside. And now let's look at the inspiration layout. So style number seven, here's the inspiration layout. This turned out so fabulous. I am in love with it. And uh, let's take a look. All right, so we've got this. Uh, I was supposed to take this out because that would show you more, the inspiration layout. But because it's moving parts, everything is a pocket, everything is a flap, everything moves, right? So this opens up. Well, this is a pocket right here. Right back here is a pocket. This is a pocket right here. You can put a photo here if you want to, but in the inspiration layout, this was pattern paper, so I followed the inspiration layout. This is it, this is what you get, right? If this was a regular 12 by 12 layout, but because it's moving parts, hello, this opens up. You get a fabulous pocket down here, room for photos here, and that's not it, it keeps on going. Look, look, this is the pocket. That's where you saw these two photo mats sticking out the back, that closes up, that comes up, and one more time one more time look at this pocket style guys this is a generous pocket for eight by tens this opens up another generous pocket you can yes fit an eight by ten in here if you want room for photos whatever you put in this pocket you can put an eight by ten here then close it and do smaller photo mats here and it'll keep this flap closed and then you can create a poster style photo mat where you have a collage of photos and stick it in here then we have this fabulous pocket back here right and then we have this fabulous pocket here this is all acetate which makes it so much fun because you get to see what is in the pocket I just love it look at how cute this paper is by the way this paper collection is called Thank Heaven for Little Girls. There is a Thank Heaven for Little Boys. You can find it on paperphenomenon.com. It is a digital collection. Gorgeous. So uh, the paper is beautiful. I have to say the colors in my shop do not do this paper justice. All right. It looks almost neon in my shop. And I hate that. We've tried so many different ways to photograph it. And it's just doesn't come out it just doesn't i don't know what else to try but the colors look neon in the shop they are not as you can see right here in this beautiful beautiful image here look at how beautiful these colors are they are truly truly stunning but for some reason in my shop they look crazy so crazy this blue looks like electric too much guys too much not for a baby collection but look how beautiful is this collection? Just stunning. Thank heaven for little girls. And again, thank heaven for little boys if you're looking for a boy collection. So this one, still true to moving parts. Everything here moves. This flips down. This comes up. And look at all of the photo space you have here. How fun. This, my friends, is a pocket. This, oh, no, this way, my bad. This one opens up here. For an 8x10 or a collage of photos, we've got a pocket here. Look at these embellishments. Pocket cards, so many fun things in the collection. And then we open it up again. And there's that acetate pocket naked. It's empty because I want you to see the pocket. Look at that. We've got that pocket in the back still. And then the side pocket, right? We did paper paper clip here. Then this opens up to reveal a super large pocket. And then back here, yet another pocket opportunity and some fun little dangles that's in the collection. All right, so look at how fun. I just, 
Oh my gosh, I just love everything about this collection. If I can get my embellishments right, there we go. I love this pocket on the side, so lots of room. This is an 11 by 11 size project. These are all 11 by 11, but the fact that they have this slim profile makes them super duper manageable and easy, easy peasy to make. Look at this paper, how beautiful. Uh, I'd love for you guys to give these a try. Uh, even if this is your first paper phenomenon project, listen, you cannot go wrong with it. If you are making these, leave me a comment. Let me know which one you're making and what paper collection you are using. So National Scrapbook Day 2024, moving parts, page folios, style three through seven, currently through May 13th, 50% off. I hope you enjoyed this final review video. I can't wait to hear or read your thoughts. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and until next time.